for my 14th and last general heathen topic tonight, warriors. All life involves some kind of struggle. Things never go exactly as we want. Nothing is ever completely smooth. We may be very lucky and ride the wave of good fortune for a while. If we do, we probably owe thanks in part to another who struggled on our behalf. There are many kinds of struggle, but the most obvious is war. The ancient heathens were more likely than we are to participate directly in combat. They didn't have the luxury of deciding to be pacifists. They didn't have the luxury of deciding that they would only be amateurs at the arts of self-defense and of killing. They trained in them much as they trained in farming and fishing. We live in a society that divides ways of life in which people can choose careers in which most things that are done in the society are specialized. We have specialists for war. You can choose the military as a career, or you can go into it temporarily, or you may get drafted. Either way, the majority of the population doesn't need to know how to do what warriors do. But the broader definition of warrior, one who struggles for what she or he believes is right, one who is prepared to defend herself, those she values. That definition of warrior we still have to consider because we can't legislate that into a specialty. There are in fact probably more robbers and muggers around than there were in the ancient days. Beyond that, we live in large, immensely complicated societies where enemies can do a tremendous amount of harm. If our food delivery systems or our electricity supply or our clean drinking water are interrupted, people will start dying. We owe a debt to our professional warriors. From a heathen point of view also, we need to take the long view. Our gods and our goddesses are fighters. Most of our gods have characteristic weapons. We know what will happen to a lot of them at Ragnarok. What will happen at Ragnarok, among other things, Odin will call out his Inheria, his selected chosen troops. Inheri means chosen warrior. They are the elect whom he has gathered from different ages and different places, taking the best warrior and whisking him away to Valhav to be kept practicing constantly against the future war that Odin tries to stave off but knows will happen. Those in Heria will fight for us on the side of the gods and I feel we owe them our respect just as we owe the great heroes who fought on the behalf of the gods and of the heathen people in the past. From Sigurd to those whose names we do not know. <laughs>